Accused New York Governor Andrew Cuomo of groping her at the governor's mansion has now filed a criminal complaint. This means criminal charges could be coming. WGN's Shannon Halligan is here with the details now. Shannon. Yeah, Governor Cuomo's lawyer spoke today vowing to vigorously defend the embattled governor against allegations of sexual harassment. A woman who accused New York Governor Andrew Cuomo of groping her at the governor's state residence filed a criminal complaint against him. She filed the complaint with the Albany County Sheriff. This is the first known instance where a woman made an official report with a law enforcement agency over alleged misconduct by the governor. Now the district attorney will decide whether or not the governor is arrested. This comes after an independent investigation overseen by the state attorney general's office concluded that Cuomo sexually harassed 11 women and worked to retaliate against one of his accusers. The independent investigation has concluded that Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women and in doing so violated federal and state law. The governor's lawyers fired back Friday, raising concerns about the investigation. When a witness says that someone did something, I get to ask them questions and cross-examine them. That has not happened here. The New York Attorney General's office released a statement after Cuomo's team attacked the credibility of the allegations against the governor, saying in part, the independent investigators selected are widely respected professionals recognized for their legal and investigatory ability. To attack this investigation and attempt to undermine and politicize this process takes away from the bravery displayed by these women. There are 11 women whose accounts have been corroborated by a mountain of evidence. Any suggestion that attempts to to undermine the credibility of these women or this investigation is unfortunate. The Albany County Sheriff said tonight he will hold a brief news conference tomorrow regarding the criminal complaint against the governor. He said details, though, will be limited since this is an active investigation. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.